It's Olivia Taima and I'm back with another video and as you can see by the title I'm going to show you how I got these makeup brushes clean. They were very dirty, okay? So if you want to find out how I got these makeup brushes spotty clean, keep watching. So to clean our makeup brushes and um, beauty blenders, we're going to use Dawn Soap, um, Olive Oil, and some laundry detergent i have arm and hammer so whichever one you have on hand is good then we're going to pour some of that into the cap and we're going to also pour some dawn soap into the cap <laughs> Now we're going to take our beauty blenders and we're going to wet it a little bit and we're going to take our extra virgin olive oil and I just poured some into the cap and I am going to pour them onto the beauty blenders. And while I'm doing that, as you can see, I just want to just make it easy for the makeup to release from the beauty blenders. Listen, these things have not been cleaned since September. I know that's bad, that's horrible, and um, I didn't feel like going out and getting new ones because I wanted to see how clean I could really get them and how much makeup I can remove. So if all the makeup is not removed from it, remember, this has been dirty since September. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I'm just massaging the oil in, squeezing it out, putting a little bit of water. Now I'm going to take some of the soap and I'm going to massage that in rub it um just try to really work it in as much as i can and you can see the makeup is being released and it's not it wasn't really hard i felt like the olive oil made it easier for the makeup to to get the makeup off the blender the beauty blender versus then me just using soap the olive oil really played a big big part in it So I'm moving on to the Black Beauty Blender and I'm just going to put a little soap in there and try to see if how much makeup I can remove from there. Um, you're going to repeat these steps until you feel that your Beauty Blender is clean enough. You will know when your Beauty Blender is clean because obviously the color that the Beauty Blender was when you originally first bought it will come back. Like before, this wasn't even black. It was like a brown, an ashy brown. And now, you, as you can see, it's become black. And the other one was orange, and of course, you can see the makeup coming off, and it's turning back orange. So you're just going to want to do this until the makeup is completely gone. And how you can tell, also another way you can tell, why am I stuttering? Another way you can tell is um, when you wring out the beauty blenders or squeeze the beauty blenders, no makeup comes out of the beauty blenders. The water is clear, it's not makeup-y, and it doesn't feel like makeup if you get what i'm saying like it feels nice and smooth and clear and it feels good it feels like a regular brand new beauty blender and once you're done with that you want to have like paper towel next to you so you can just have them sit on the paper towel so that it can absorb the water and help it to dry so it's not just wetting up your counters and stuff but as you can see this orange one needed more work it was very tough to get the makeup off of this one like i don't know if because if it was orange but it just it, it it was it was it was a task okay it was a task but we got it off as much as we could and it was like no <laughs> Moving on to the makeup brushes, we are going to put them into the sink. Um, you can do them one by one, but I wanted them all in the sink at the same time to kind of speed up the process. I didn't want to be here all day. So we're going to take our extra virgin olive oil and we're going to coat every single brush with it. Okay, now these have been put 
through some work. So we want to make sure that we work the olive oil into these brushes. And you're going to see me massaging them all and especially that one. That's my foundation brush. So <laughs> it's going to need some work, honey. Like we are going to have to perform plastic surgery on these brushes. All right. And I had these brushes for a long, long, long time. I got them on sale from BH Cosmetics. And it was like a 23 or 50 piece set. And I didn't use all those brushes. I gave the rest of them to my sister because I don't do eye makeup and stuff like that. So I just kept the ones that I needed. But yeah, honey, I'm kind of rubbing them on my hand to kind of help to loosen up the makeup. It's easier if you have that makeup scrub palette thing and you could just rub the brush on there. But I don't have that. So I'm going to use my hand. It works good too. As you, oh, you see that? That is disgusting. Oh my God. And I was putting these brushes on my faces. I should be ashamed of myself. Like this is really dirty. <laughs> this is disgusting. Like, please do not let your brushes go on like this. Like that is not sanitary. It's not good for your skin. I'm glad I don't get that much breakouts. I don't even, I rarely get any breakouts. But if you have sensitive skin, do not do this. This is very horrible. But I don't wear makeup every day, so I don't feel the need to, like, clean my brushes every so often. But when I do, like, as you can see, my brushes get really, really dirty. And I just had a kid, so I haven't really been wearing makeup. So I kind of forgot about my makeup brushes. So please, please forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to take the soap. As you can see, I added more detergent and more dish liquid. And um, I'm just going to rub, like, try to squeeze out as much makeup I can that the um, olive oil loosened up. And then I'm going to add some soap onto the brushes and basically do the same thing that I did with the Beauty Blender. So keep watching. <laughs> Oh my god do you see all of that makeup all of that foundation like sis nah oh my god that is crazy but as you can see the makeup is loosening up due to the olive oil and the um detergent that's why i use the detergent and not just dish soap if you don't want to use the detergent you can use just the dish soap but i feel like you get a better and a more thorough clean with the dish soap and the detergent okay all right sis all right that's why i'm using it but it's really it's a, a big help to use the olive oil too because it helps to loosen up the makeup and you don't damage your brushes i know y'all saw one of my brushes fall apart but um like i said these brushes are old i had these brushes for like what three years now <laughs> i have a set of new brushes and i did not touch them because i don't know I just like the way these brushes work and I'm scared to like use the other ones. And plus they're so pretty. So I'm like, ooh, girl, 
excuse me i'm sorry <laughs> so i'm like i don't want to really use them unless i have to and i'm going to use these brushes until they fall off and as you can see one of them fell off and i'm still using it and plus that's my favorite fan brush like i cannot find a big fan brush like that the brush set that i have the new one the fan brush is so small like what is it going to do for me sis i need a big fan brush all right i like a very big glowy highlight and i feel like the big one can give me what i want <laughs> But you're just going to keep repeating these steps until your brushes are thoroughly clean. And as I said, until the water is clear when you're squeezing it out of the brushes. <laughs> That brush was the dirtiest like that as i told you that's my foundation brush and it, it just this brush is from elf by the way and i love this brush so much it puts on your foundation so smoothly like i tried to use the beauty blender to apply my foundation but i don't get the same finish that i get with the brush so that's why i just stick to the brush because that's what i know stick to what you know if you a beauty blender foundation type of person and you that's you sis i'm a brush foundation type of person and i love this brush as you can see i gotta add more soap because i like i told you this brush done been through it honey and it's just so much foundation in this brush i gotta make sure i get everything out before i put it back into my face which i could just really just get a new one because that brush was only like two dollars so i don't know why i'm being cheap but whatever but as you can see, I'm done. I'm washing them all out, making sure they're all clean. And I'm going to place them on that paper towel. And now I am putting them out to dry. You're going to want to leave it out overnight because I'm going to let you know that this is going to be wet. If you try to come back in a couple of hours, it ain't going to be dry. Okay? It's going to be wet. But look how clean and nice I got them. Look at the brushes. Like the bristles still look so nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. And they feel so soft. I'm so happy. Let's see how they look in the morning time. 2,000 years later. I don't know why the video came out this way, but this is the next day as you can see all the brushes are dry they look shiny and new and they feel so 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 soft so you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i will see you in my next one thank you for watching